Hi, I have welcome to Gwanevo. So in this episode of the Recode series, we are going to solve the question called Pascal's Triangle. It's a very simple question and as usual, let's get started by reading the question and then finding out the logic by solving an example. And then at last, using that algorithm that we developed to get to Ecode and solve the question. So let's get started. So given an integer num rows, return the first number of rows of the Pascal's Triangle. So what do they mean by that? So here we have an integer input 5. So what does it mean? It means that we have to return the first 5 rows of the Pascal's triangle. So what would be the output for that? So this would be the output for that. Okay. As you can see here, the first element and the last element of all these rows is 1. And the elements in between is just a summation of the elements in previous rows. 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. 3 is equal to 1 plus 2. And 3 is equal to 2 plus 1. 4 is equal to 3 plus 1. And similarly, all the elements are just sum of the elements in the previous rows. Okay, it's as easy as that. So, you would have to develop an algorithm which generates these rows and then adds it to a list. And that will be our answer to this question. So, how exactly do we do that? So, for that, as you can see here, the first element and last element is always 1. So, that's the easy part. You can just add 1 to it at the front and at the end. Okay. Now, getting to the second part of the elements in between, for that, obviously, as you can see here, here we have 2 and it is just a summation of the second element in the previous row and the element before it. Okay. So, let's say we have this 3. So, it's the third element, right? So, the third element in the previous row, which is 1, plus the element before it. So, 2 plus 1. So, in a similar fashion, 6 would be it's the third element. So, in the previous row, third element is 3 and the element before it. So, similarly, as you can see here, all of these are just the exact number in the previous row, the exact index in the previous row, plus the element before it. Okay. So, that's going to be the logic for the elements in between. So, we'll create a, a list and then we'll have uh, another list for each of these rows. And then we'll add these numbers like 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1 to those rows and that list will be appended to the greater list or the original list. Okay. So, that is going to be the logic. Now, let's get to lead code and solve this question. So, here we have a function called generate which is given to us with an input of num rows. So, we are given the number of rows of the Pascal strand that we have to generate and we just have to return a list of list integer which means each row consists of a list of integers and we are going to return all these lists together as a single list. So, let us first create that whole big list that we are going to return. So, integer, let's just name as Pascal is equal to new array list of. So, we have created a list. Now, what do we do? How many rows do we have to generate? That is given in number rows. So, our for loop should iterate for number of times, right? So, i is equal to 0, i is less than num rows and i plus plus. Okay. So, this loop will iterate for num rows times. Okay. So, for each row, what do we have to do? We will have to generate, you know, n number of elements, right? So, what is that n? That n is i plus 1. As you can see here, first row contains one element, but here we have the index 0 here. So, let's see it in that way. So, 0th index or 0th row contains 1 element. So, i plus 1. First row contains 2 elements. So, i plus 1. Again, i is equal to 1 here and the number of elements is i plus 1. And similarly here, the number of elements here is 3 and the value of i is 2. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, the next for loop that should run here should start from in j is equal to 0 and j is less than uh, i, j is less than or equal to i, i because uh, the element runs for i plus 1 iteration. If we start from 0 and end it at i, it's just i iterations, not i plus 1. You can either do this or you can write it as j is less than i plus 1. Both are going to be the same output. So, j is less than or equal to i and j plus plus. So, in each of these iterations, what do we have to do? We have to first create a row, right? So, we'll create that list first of all. So, list of integer, it's called row. 
and let's create a new array list okay so with this we have created a list called row so what do we append to this row the first element and the last element is one as we know that so which is the first element and which is the last element so here zero is the first element and i represents the last element so if our value of zero, uh, j is equal to zero it means it is the first element or if the value of j is equal to equal to i it means this is the last element in that case we'll append the value of one to it so this is the first element and the last element is one we are adding the value of one to it else if that is not the case what do we do we get the values from the previous row right so let's just find the previous row here okay so list of integer previous row is equal to pascal dot get of i minus one so why is that so i is the current row and i minus one is the last row or the previous row right so we are getting the previous row and storing it in this list okay so we can just add the elements from this list okay what element should we add and as we saw earlier we should add the element just above it and the element before it right we should add the jth element which is if we are currently in the third position previous row third position plus the second position j and j minus one so row dot add of previous row dot get of j and previous row dot get of j minus one so these are the two values that must be added and that will give us the answer for the current row and that will get added into the row column okay uh, the row so with that after the end of this for loop the row array would be completed so that row can be added on to the pascal that is the list of list okay so uh, pascal dot add of row now we have successfully added a row and similarly we'll move on to the next iteration of the for loop the second row will get added third row fourth row and similarly it will move on till the n number of rows okay so our job finally is to just return the list of list that we just created so this is going to be the code in order to generate the pascal triangle numbers okay so let's run this code and verify whether we have got it right uh, let's check for the sample disk case first and as you can see here we have passed the two sample disk case let's check for every other test case that it has to offer yeah and we have successfully completed this question so this is how you solve the pascal triangle question in lead code if you love this video please drop a like and comment on below if you have any queries and don't forget to subscribe to go we'll see you next week in another lead code question until then bye bye